hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of a if we have a minus 3 divided by 3 and its whole square is equals to 1 and we solve this problem for all the values of a so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution of this problem and which of the roots are extraneous root uh, further we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now we move towards our first method and in the first method first we need to break this square sign on both of these two values and when we break this square sign it will become a minus 3 whole square divided by 3 square is equal to 1 and further we need to move this 3 square to the right hand side and you see here it is divided by left hand side and when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by 1 and it will be written as a minus 3 whole square is equals to 3 square so further in the next step uh, here uh, we uh, here there are uh, many methods uh, to uh, solve further this problem for the values of a but now here uh, we will just uh, use the square root technique uh, to find the roots of this equation so in this technique we need to take a uh, square root on both of the sides so when we apply square root on both of the sides it will be written as this 3 and this square root are gone and we will get here a minus 3 is equals to here this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here 3 and you know about that when we apply square root sign on both of the sides we will write here plus minus sign on any one of the sides so we get here a minus 3 is equals to plus minus 3 so further uh, we need to break uh, the right hand side and here first we write our right hand side is positive it is a minus 3 is equals to plus 3 and here we write the negative value it is a minus 3 is equals to minus 3 so from here we easily get the value of a is equals to 3 plus 3 this is a negative 3 when we move it into the right hand side it will becomes plus 3 and we get here 3 plus 3 becomes 6 so this is the first root of the given equation and in order to find the others we need to solve this case so here we need to move this minus 3 to the right hand side and we get uh, this is minus 3 and when we move this minus 3 to the right hand side it will becomes plus 3 and you see here this is negative and positive are cancelled out by each other and we get the value of a is equals to 0. So this is the our second root of the given equation. And now here further in the next steps we need to verify that is this root uh, be the solution or extraneous root. Uh, so for this we need to verify both of these two roots. So for verification of the roots we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is a minus 3 divided by 3 whole square is equals to 1 so this is the our given question statement and in this side we will be verify a is equals to 6 and in this side we will be verify a is equals to 0 so further in the next step uh, here we need to substitute uh, this value of a into the left hand side and when you put this value here it will becomes 6 minus 3 divided by 3 and its whole square is equals to 1. So we have 6 minus 3 becomes 3 divided by 3 whole square is equals to 1. This 3 is cancelled out by this 3 and we get here 1 square is equals to 1. And we know that one square is one so both of the sides are equal it means that when we choose a is equal to six our both of the sides are equal so this means that the value of a is equal to six is satisfied our given question statement and now we uh, check our second value and for this we substitute a is equal to zero into the left hand side so when you put this value here it will becomes zero minus three divided by three whole square is equals to 1 and uh, we will obtain here 0 minus 3 becomes a minus 3 divided by 3 whole square is equals to 1 so this 3 is cancelled out by this 3 and uh, we obtain here minus 1 square is equals to 1 uh, so here we know that minus 1 square becomes plus 1 is equals to 1 so this uh, shows that again both of the sides are equal this means that the second value of a is also satisfied our given question statement 
so here uh, from first method uh, we will get here uh, the solution set of the given question is uh, 6 and 0 so this is the solution set of given question uh, which we get here from first method and now uh, in the next step we again solve this problem for second method uh, and in the second method uh, we need to copy down given question statement here uh, so uh, in second method the given question statement uh, is that a minus 3 divided by 3 whole square is equals to 1 so in the second method i can uh, suggest another uh, different approach uh, in which how to find the roots of this equation so i hope so you like this method as well so uh, in this method here uh, our first step is same on both of these two methods here we first uh, apply square sign separately on both of these values and it will become a minus 3 whole square divided by 3 square is equals to 1 and we move this 3 square to the right hand side and uh, we will get here a minus 3 whole square is equals to 3 square further we just move this 3 square into the left hand side and it will become a minus 3 whole square this is positive term when we move into in the left hand side it will become negative and this whole equation is equals to 0 and uh, further here we use this nice algebraic formula you know about that if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b according to this formula you see here this whole term is our a and this term is our b so according to the below formula we write here our above equation as first we have a minus b the value of a is a minus 3 minus b is 3 into a plus b again we have a is a minus 3 and b is 3 and this whole equation is equal to 0 and now we uh, obtained here a minus this is minus 3 minus 3 becomes minus 6 these two are cancelled out by each other and we get here a is equal to 0 and now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write a minus 6 is equals to 0 the second case is we write a is equals to 0 from here we easily get the first root of the given equation is a is equals to 6 and this is the our second root of the given equation and also in the first method we already verified that both of these two roots are satisfied our given question statement so again in the second method we have the solution set be the 0 and 6 so this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos